TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're about 30 minutes north of Denver, right off I-25, really convenient location. We have a huge selection of new and used inventory, um, as well as a ton of stuff on order. So if you're looking for a trailer, there's a good chance we might have what you're looking for either here or, or coming soon. This trailer that's actually right behind me is another sold unit. As you guys have probably noticed if you've been watching these videos, most of these trailers that are coming in are already sold. And what, why that is, is there's a huge backlog of trailers right now. So a lot of people are taking trailers that we have on order or they're completely starting from scratch and they're customizing these trailers to make it exactly how they want. If they have to wait anyways, it might, they might as well get the exact trailer that they've always been dreaming of. So this is an example of one of those behind me. So this trailer is gonna to go to a really wonderful person. Been working with them for a very long time, trying to find them the right trailer. Some of the ones that were on our lot were close, but not quite. So we finally decided, you know what, let's just build one. So this is kind of her dream trailer, um, exactly how she wants it set up. She even added a few things after the fact, after we've already confirmed the order. So those are some nice little things about doing a custom built trailer is, is you get to choose every little piece that goes into it so that you, when you take it home, you know it's exactly what you want. So let's go ahead and start this tour. This is a Cimarron Northstar six horse gooseneck. It is 33 feet, three inches on the floor, seven four tall, eight foot wide. So it's gonna fit a very large variety of horses. Um, even if you're just throwing cutting horses in here, you're still gonna have the flexibility that if you ever go to sell or, re or trade in this trailer, it's gonna have higher resale value because it can fit a larger variety of horses. Um, she did a huge front tack. She did a seven foot short wall uh, with an 11 foot long wall on her front tack room, as well as a full width rear tack. So she's gonna have between mangers, front tack, rear tack, hay pod, she's gonna have no shortage of storage on this trailer. She'll be able to bring everything and the kitchen sink. So let's go ahead and kind of start this tour here. So the first thing you're gonna notice is this battery box right here. I've got it kind of opened up. Our old battery boxes, we didn't see quite as much stuff inside. Usually we just had one or two batteries in here and that's it. We've started putting our air ride systems in these battery boxes. So that's right, she does have air ride on this trailer. She's got two 8K um, Dexter Airflex axles underneath. Uh, so her horses are gonna be riding in style and in comfort. This air ride system is really, really simple to use. Um, you've got your power switch, your on off switch right here. You've got a raise and a lower valve. And you've got the, the reservoir pressure, which just shows you kind of where the PSI is at in the airbags when it's aired up. Usually hovers right around 143. Kind of gives you an idea. There's a little bit of bleed off. Every now and again, the air ride system will kick on and off. Um, but if it's constantly happening, that usually indicates that you might have a small leak somewhere in your lines. But all you do is when you go to raise up your trailer, you turn your power on. So this is the power button to the whole trailer. When you put it in storage, it's nice to just turn that to red, and that way you don't have to worry about anything drawing any power from your battery. So that when you get to go to hook up your trailer, you don't have to hand crank your jack up and down. You've got an electric over hydraulic jack, but it doesn't work if you have no juice in your battery. So first thing you wanna do is turn that on, then you hit the on switch. You're usually gonna have it in the lower position. And the reason that I turned it on beforehand is because I like for the compressor to fill up, but I wanna keep it nice and low for my horses to load in and out of the trailer. So when you air up those airbags, you get about two to three inches of additional height on your trailer. And since we've got a side ramp coming into this one, we want that side ramp to be as low and um, as easy of a transition for the horses to get on and off as possible. So loading animals, usually put it in the lower position. As soon as you're ready to drive away, I usually switch it to raise. And what that does is it starts picking up those trailers, those airbags start inflating. And once it reaches um, the 140 PSI, 142-ish, uh, you are ready to roll down the road. So it's really simple to use. 
When you're done, you just really reverse what you're doing, switch it to lower, turn it off, and then under here, you've got a little bleed valve for your air so that you can just go ahead and dump all that condensation, anything that's built up in your line. When we condense air, it creates a lot of condensation. So making sure that you pull this after every, every ride is a really good idea especially if you live in a colder climate. If you have a lot of gunk and air buildup in your air ride lines, you're setting yourself up for getting freezing and cracking your lines. So we usually find out in the springtime who has not been pulling this because when everybody goes to dewinterize your trailers, if you have been neglecting that, it'll show. As I said, she has an electric over hydraulic jack, really simple to use at the kind of push of a button here. Um, this is a really big trailer. It's not something you want to hand crank up and down. You do have a manual override, so if you're nervous about being stranded somewhere and not being able to get it on or off your truck, you don't have to worry on these. Um, there's a little valve here that you'll turn in or out, and that'll allow it to go up or down. It takes a long time. I've done it on some trailers where we've, we've let the batteries fall too low, but it's a lot simpler just to turn that battery disconnect off and then you'll know you've always got power to your jack. But this is a really nice upgrade to have here. Underneath, all your tires are 17.5s on this trailer. Um, they're backed by a lion's head warranty. So that means you've got a uh, one year no questions asked, two year roadside assistance, and five year um, against any structural defects on a trailer from the manufacturer. Um, this warranty is really, really great. Uh, the people at Lion's Head are super easy to work with. If you uh, run over, if you have road hazards that destroys your tires, if you have any um, weird wear or anything that, that just isn't right or you've done yourself by accident, that first year, remember that you have that tire warranty. They stand behind it, they'll send you new tire, or they'll reimburse you for one that you had to get. So um, Lion's Head warranty, as well as you've got a huge warranty on the actual trailer itself. Cimarron essentially does a, a three year hitch to bumper warranty and an eight year structural. So they really, really stand behind their trailers. They know they have a good product um, and they want people to be really happy for a long time to come. So it's one of the best warranties in the business. It's one of the reasons we really like these Cimarron trailers as well. Every Cimarron trailer comes standard with aluminum wheels. Um, some people do the black, some people do the regular silver. Uh, you can also upgrade to like an Alcoa or something like that. So there are options for your wheels if you want to dress it up a little bit. But you don't have to worry about a steel wheel on a, on a Cimarron trailer. So right here, you notice this long stretch of wall here. Her entrance to her tack room is on the opposite side. So you've got the 11 foot long wall just to kind of give you a sneak peek of how this big this one actually is. One of the things we did add in after the fact is we did add a several drop downs on this hip side. Um, she wanted to be able to have just a little more airflow. You still have the bus windows on these drop downs. So if you don't want to drop them down, that's fine. But a lot of people will actually drop these, these hip side drops down, open these bus windows, and they'll keep things closed over on the head side. And that's so when the horses are eating out of their mangers, all that hay and dust is not just flying around, swirling around at their faces. So it's nice to get a lot of airflow on this hip side for that reason. Right here, we do have a center indicator light. So anything on our inventory that is over 26 feet, we're gonna put one of these on standard. And what that does is, especially on these longer trailers, it allows people next to you an opportunity to know that you're trying to get over. So if you're braking or turning, this is gonna indicate that. It's just really, really nice. Most people on something this length, they can't see the rear of your trailer. So it's just, it's a good thing to have on these bigger ones, kind of lets you know, kind of lets everybody around you know what you're trying to do. The more lights, the better on these trailers, in my opinion. Um, we did quite a few button lights up on that top rail so that as she's driving down the road at night, um, she's gonna be really visible to the other trucks and, and vehicles around her. There's a lot of really precious cargo that we load onto these trailers, and we wanna make sure they're as safe as possible. We've got a 
big awning light over this side here. Um, so if she's tied up here at night, she's gonna have nice bright light. Those 16 inch awning lights, they're LED, they put off a lot of light and they usually last a lot longer. So on this trailer, as I mentioned earlier, full width rear tack, which means a side load. So these ramps, as I mentioned, usually I air down before I load so that you've got a less steep ramp to get in and out. Um, but they're nice and textured. They're rubberized, so you have a lot of grip going up and down, especially if it's a little slick and wet. This door here has its own window so that um, you can also open it for this horse over here. One of the things we had discussed on this trailer was a breakover divider. What that does is it breaks the divider right about here so that you have a little bit wider of an area. She opted to do some other changes on this one instead, but that is an option if you want just a little bit of a wider turn radius to get in and out of this. So all of these dividers here are partial dividers except for the first one. We did a stud divider. They're all padded. So if she's got any horses that are palominos or grays, paints, anything that is not a darker color, this aluminum, if it's touching their fur as, as they ride down the road, it'll start to rub kind of that grayness um, on them. So by having the pads, you kind of protect them. It's a lot softer. They can kind of lean against it. A lot of horses just like to be a little more comfortable as you ride. We just washed this trailer out, but it does have worm flooring in it. So as you'll notice, she doesn't have any rubber mats that she has to pull to get this trailer cleaned out. All she has to do is power wash this trailer. It's really easy. She can just kind of nose this trailer up, come in through that escape door, and she can just walk all that debris out of here. So this worm flooring, it's got a lot more texture. One of the reasons that we really love worm flooring on trailers is because it protects the aluminum underneath. So aluminum is very porous. If you let urine sit on the aluminum, over time it will corrode and pit. If you take care of your aluminum floors, they're gonna last you for a very, 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 very long time. But if you don't, if you let your trailers get dirty, stay dirty, over time, and it doesn't take that long, that urine will cause holes in your floor. The nice thing about a Cimarron is if you're neglectful, at least you have four inch centers underneath your horse's feet so that they are always standing on a center support. But the last thing we want somebody to have is for them to pull their mats up and find that they've got pitting and corrosion all over it. So if you do have mats, clean it out at least twice a season, um, let it dry, put a bunch of baking soda underneath. The baking soda will help counteract the acidity of the urine, or it'll balance the urine, it'll eat the urine, the baking soda will eat the urine instead of eating the floor. Um, so that's a really nice little trick there. But if you don't want to deal with that, if you know you're not going to pull your mats and you're not going to keep up on it, just worm your floor. It's, it's nice and seamless. Um, it's a lot more texturized, a lot safer for your horses to walk on. And uh, it usually pays off in the long run. On the ceiling here, we do have roof vents over each stall as well as LED Optibrite lights. So it's gonna be really nice and bright in here. She has to load up at night. Her horses are not gonna be walking into a dark, dark cave. They're gonna be very comfortable. This is a little bit taller, but this is a, a seven four tall on this, on this roof here. Eight wide, so you do have some wheel wells on the inside. But what that allows her to have is she's got 18 inch deep mangers. And she even did a manger on the escape door. So we'll check that out when we go around the other side. Every Cimarron comes standard with that four inch uh, centers on the floor like I was talking about earlier. But it also comes standard with this insulated FiberTech roof. So this roof is strong enough, you can walk up and down it. You don't have to worry about walking on the roof bows, but it also keeps it a lot cooler in here. So it's got an R3 thermal value. It's really hail and dent resistant. It's one of the reasons we really love our Cimarron trailers. All right, so I know you guys are excited to check out this rear tack, but I wanted to show you one of her other ads that she did. We've got a nice easy angle ladder up here. And this was an after ad, we decided to go with a hay pod on this trailer. And I can kind of 
scurry up there and kind of show you guys what we've got. Do you want, I'll just go farther up. <laughs> it's nice you're not having to crawl like directly up the side of the trailer. If she's coming up here at night, she has an Optibrite light up here as well. So she can see her stuff up here, nice and comfortable. This is an eight to 10 bale hay pod. So about eight to 10 bales will fit, fit up here. You don't have to tarp it. It's on these nice big gas chocks. So it lifts up clean out of your way. You're not having to pull it open, throw a bale in. Um, once you get the bales up here, it's really easy to get them down. But uh, this storage is, is really, really great for somebody that, that is going on a long trip, um, bringing lots of horses along. They can bring their own food from home. And then this area right here is an extended deck. What's nice about this is you can throw like a wheelbarrow, something up here, um, or it's just a really nice place to kind of stand without feeling like you're about to fall over the sides of the trailer. So hay pot on this is a great add-on. Um, it's a lot easier to do before the trailer is built because if we have to ship one here, we have to put it on another trailer or on a, on a, on a flatbed and uh, it's way easier just to get it done during the build process. So do you want to go down first? I always remember when I'm up here that I have a, like a newfound fear of heights. Really easy to get up and down. Um, when you're done with this, this just runs right up here and it sits in these little holders here, secures snugly against the trailer. Really easy to use way better than climbing up the side of a trailer. <laughs> We've got these little holdbacks here. Get these nice and out of the way. Big doors, double doors on this trailer. So a couple things that we've got on this one. We did a swing out saddle rack on this side. There wasn't quite enough room to do a swing out on this side as well. So we've got a removable post. If they ever need this, a little more storage. They've got so much storage on this trailer, I don't know how they would, but they can always take this one out and have a little bit more floor space. Um, eight saddle holders. You can add more to these posts if you need to. That's something that's easy to add on afterwards. Very adjustable, just take a little wrench and you've got a top and a bottom bolt that you can loosen and slide these up and down. We carpeted the walls of this one back here and did rubber mats on the floor. That's kind of what we try and do standard on a lot of these trailers just because the carpeting keeps these walls looking a lot nicer so that they're going to be really nice and pretty for a long time to come. But it also gives it a nice um, place for your bits uh, to hang quietly. Your horses are right on the other side of that wall, so we want them to be as quiet as possible. They don't need to listen to metal and metal clinging. Corner water tank back there, um, so you can bring your own water with you from home. And then something that's kind of interesting on this trailer is we've actually got a outlet there on that wall down low by that saddle. And so this trailer is equipped uh, with the ability to run your outlets in the AC. So we've got outlets on the exterior, quite a few in the front tack, but she wanted to have us add one here in the rear tack as well. Um, this is just a great, it, I mean, if you're gonna throw power to your trailer, you might as well have it at all accessible points. Got two eight inch awning lights up top so that if she's loading in and out, um, she can really see what's going on, as well as a 16 inch that'll backlight this actual area here. So it'll be really easy to kind of see everything. Right here, got a nice big six tier blanket bar on a gas shock. 
really easy to load and unload a brush box here as well as a brush box over on that other wall so i know people just love these full width rear tacks you're getting a lot of the benefits of a mid tack as far as having a lot of tack storage but you're not adding quite as much length i also like these rear tacks because you can open these big doors up makes it really easy for people to just jump in and out and unload whereas you're funneling through one or two doors on a mid tack it's just a lot more usable space in my opinion on this side over here drop downs on all the heads of course um, these jail bars are really simple to use so that if you need to throw some feet in those mangers as you're driving down the road you can stop somewhere open these up throw some feet and then they're securely latched into place for travel again these drop downs have over six inches of framing on them so they're very very strong they're not like those dinky little piano hinges that you see on a lot of trailers um, everything is a grease cert so if you want you just grab yourself a little grease gun and you can maintain all these hinges anytime you see a little bit of a squeak or hear a little bit of a squeak usually means it's time for some grease so we can maintain those hinges and we don't have to worry about anything binding up for a very long time a lot of what Simran does is they make it so that their trailers are very easy to maintain the cost of ownership usually is less on a Simran because they set it up right the first time it's not like you're gonna have to be replacing a lot of parts you still need to do your your annual maintenance like your brakes your bearings have all that stuff checked but by not having to buy replacement bot windows because your latches have have froze up or or your air ride system um, is destroyed or if you're running rubber torsion on this size of a trailer you know the air ride has a lot of added benefits of it's going to help your longevity of your trailer and your truck as well as the horses inside you don't have to have a chiropractor visit for your horses because they didn't get jumbled up on your way down to your show that pays for itself so it's really really cool about these Cimarron's is they really think a lot of things ahead and they want they want longevity out of their trailers we've got mangers that run all the way through to here um, she did some uh, bridle hooks back inside of the mangers so that it's just got some nice places to hang things under there And then on this door, this door has a manger too. So you get the storage underneath. But the really important part is you don't have to have a feed bag or a, one of those triangle bags. Um, your horse has a nice, comfortable place to eat out of as well. So this is an option if you want for your escape doors if you've got a trailer with mangers. Um, it's something that we usually do on like our bigger LQs. All right, now we're on to the front dressing room. Like I said, this thing is giant. All of this is lined and insulate on this trailer, so the ceiling's insulated, the walls are insulated, everything's carpeted. So when they run this AC unit, um, it's got a heat strip in it, so heat strip isn't gonna do anything if it's really cold out, but it will take the chill out of the air, which is nice on some of those cooler nights. Huge boot box, 18 inch boot box, going all the way across. Lots of storage there as well as, it's a nice place to sit down. And I mentioned she did a lot of outlets in here as well. She's got one on this side, one over there, and then one up on this side. So lots of, lots of places to plug things in. Right here you do have your breaker box. Um, for your AC and outlets and then above that a big clothes rod and then just since we've got all that wall space over on this side here we've got this big shelf with clothes rod underneath as well as a few bridle hooks here they can always go in and add more bridle hooks if they find they need more hanging space but it's just nice if you need to hold hang up a jacket or or anything like that you've got a little bit of room there flooring is rubberized so 
if you're coming in and out from the stalls, you don't have to worry about having to get these carpets all dirty. Um, you've got nice, easy to clean rubber on the floors. So I think she's gonna absolutely love the size of this front dressing room on this trailer. Right over here, she did want some exterior outlets up by the nose as well. So she's got two right here. Um, she's really got most of her bases covered on this trailer as far as power goes. All right, so I know you guys are in love with this trailer. I hate to break it to you, but it's going to its new home soon. But I can build you one just like this or very similar with some of your own spins and your own takes on it. Um, we love building custom trailers. It's one of our favorite things to do here. We find that customers have the most creative ideas and they usually give us a lot of good ideas for what we should be carrying in our inventory as well. So if you have been looking for a trailer and you can't find something that's exactly what you want, we can build it. And I would be more than happy to go through the process and spec something out with you. My name is Callie Say. Um, if you want to reach me, my phone number is 970-309-6368. You can text me that to that number. Um, we can put together a build sheet some, somewhat like this. You'll get a spec sheet um, and we can just go through and mark it up to be exactly what you want. If you guys want to go ahead and reference this trailer so we can pull the build sheets um, and kind of give a base starting point for it, it is 5N210500. These YouTube videos have been really great for us because we've been able to show people a lot of the options that they may not have been aware of. So we might not have it on the lot, but we probably have it somewhere in our archives and we can kind of show you some of the cool things other customers have done. And you can put together a trailer that is exactly what you want. So thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day.